Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So welcome back everybody, let's take a look at the cryptocurrencies as usual on Mondays. Um, performance here is not very fast and strong, so actually picture barely has changed since our last discussion on Thursday. But still we have a bit more clarity on the performance, especially on the hourly chart, where we could estimate the potential bottom for a bullish scenario and see what will happen around it. As you know, our position in general stands actually not in favor of the bullish performance and we actually trying to escape uh, the taking any long position by far despite that we have maybe some short term patterns or something of that sort. So our general uh, view is that uh, any pullback on solid uh, action on the lower time frames we could use for taking the short position because currently as you understand overall background around the cryptocurrency market is not really positive. The sentiment stands uh, negative, uh, market stands in general in frustration after the FTX um, accident, now it's Genesis and all other stuff. Uh, and currently no one uh, in, uh, institutional investor put more or less solid money um, in, in um, uh, cryptocurrencies. So this reversal that all markets were hoping for, especially a couple of months ago, that uh, now the institutional investors should return back. It's, uh, as you can see, these hopes were in vain. So currently, we do not see any inflows, although you could see on the stock market. So actually, the stock market has returned back to the previous tops. And as we post in our Telegram channel, uh, no one stock from the Dow Jones Industrial Average hasn't fell, hasn't fell since uh, since uh, 12 of October. So in recent one and a half months, uh, it's only bullish performance stand. So, uh, but oh, you do not see it on um, cryptocurrencies. Uh, that's also means something that's why on the monthly chart as you can see picture remains the same market drop below the lows drop below the 20 uh, even area and now stands below it it means that uh, chances on downward action is more probable it has more chances as we said supposedly it should be somewhere around 39 this is important target this is also previous top here another consolidation this probably should, that should, we should see in the midterm the same story in the weekly chart. In the weekly chart, we also could add that, uh, take a look at the performance. In the, last, in, the la in the last three weeks, it's anemic volatility or almost no volatility stand here. Usually the market is uh, contraction, stands uh, in contraction mode, volatility is dropping drastically. It means that it should expand relatively fast. So every silence, every time when the silence stands on the market, it means that sooner rather than later, uh, we should get some explosion and um, in the current circumstances it seems that it's more has more chance to show this explosion to the downside in particular speaking 1223 it's the next major target this a b c d completion point right there <coughs> so um, it's also bearish dynamic pressure as we said but it already has achieved minimum target it's taken out with these laws but still market taken out of the lows and take a look stands right there so in fact we could say that here is forming some kind of the tight consolidation kind of the flag maybe a pennant that's uh, mostly bearish and suggests deeper downside action on the daily chart you could see it better so some kind of the triangle so initially we were considering minor triangle here is a bit greater scale but still this is you could see also kind of the triangle is forming here so this some kind of the flat bottom triangle uh, so, from that standpoint, uh, we are not considering taking any long position here. Besides, it's also here some signs of the dynamic pressure exist. Strength has turned bullish on the daily chart, but price action is not. This also suggests further downward continuation. Um, on the follow time frame chart, actually, we do not see something really special. And we need to return back to the minor patterns in the, on the hourly chart that actually we have considered it last time. We said, guys, uh, we're skeptic about the bullish performance. We're in general skeptic on the perform on the potential upside action. But still, if you would like to, you could wait for some patches. So currently, you could see that uh, 
it takes a bit different shape, so it starts a bit skewed here. I mean the head and shoulders, we considered previously. In approximately around 16, even 16, 10 area, we said this probably might be the bottom of the right arm might be formed. And if you still would like to take the part, wait at least when this will happen, just because it lets you to diminish potential loss to cut potential loss because you will take position very close to the invalidation point. You could place stop slightly below the bottom of the left shoulder or even below this area. It will be enough. It's not necessary to place stop below the head because market, if it's really bullish and it has chances to show a kind of the ABCD patching here, and it probably should start from this level. This actually will be the last bullish outpost. If it will be broken, it means that we are taken out of these laws. That's particularly what bearers should control. So, for instance, you could uh, use stop sell order somewhere in between, uh, maybe around 1550, 1565. So, this is an area that you could use for stop using stop sell order, opening order, for example. Um, now, speaking about the bullish scenario. So, here we have on the downside minor ABCD passion. As you could see, just show you the A point. Here's we have the acceleration, and it means that market should reach the XOP target. XOP stands 1594 and it creates an agreement with the 1597 last 618 major 618 support of this upper deck. Creates an agreement and this perfect point to consider a long entry if you would like to, because this is actually, as, as I call it, it's a culmination point. The culmination points give you the minimum potential risk. So it doesn't guarantee you that you will succeed, but risk at this point will be minimal. So, and harmonically, it's very close to the left shoulder. So, if market starts this action, it probably should start somewhere from this area. That's for the bulls. Although, as I said, I am not taking part in this journey because I am not believing in uh, any rally on Bitcoin. I, I would bet more on the fa failure of this hand and shoulder special. But sometimes I'm wrong. So, that's just is up to you. I, I just show you with the setup. So if you're searching the setup for the bullish trade, I just show you that it mostly stands in place. And but take the setup, trade it or not. This choice is up to you. This is personal uh, choice. That actually all that we have uh, on the cryptocurrency right now. So first we will be watching for this hand and shoulders and performance around 1595, 16 even area, and then see what will happen. If it starts upper direction, we're well, going with this hand and shoulders to, to the target. That approximately might be around 17, 1730 probably, some kind of the ABCD patient. If market fail it, to stop here fail and, and, and shows that downside breakout. In this case, we were probably we should be ready for taking out of these lows, 1546, and gradual downside continuation to next targets. So in particular speaking on the fall time frame chart, this will be extension. So we said it's around 1480. So the nearest downside uh, destination point.